step six placing ducts now we can place the ducts either automatically by using generate layout tool we have a automatic tool uh, in Revit by default we have and we can also place the ducts manually as per our requirement now first let we'll see how to place them automatically okay first let me just change this uh, this is not looking symmetrical to me i'll just align this this one and this one okay now they are symmetrical now this okay okay and i'll just quickly what i'll do i'll just uh, half tone the room tags is there any template okay so there is no template uh, uh template view template i'm just not focusing much more because uh view template is mostly used where we have multiple views right and in, in this where we have a space tags where uh we have multiple views okay in this project we have only one uh view right one view you have to manage so there's no need i think for the view template you can apply the view template it's a standard thing without view template you don't have to uh you don't have to work on any kind of a view but it is more helpful when you have a bunch of uh, i mean the list of views you have you have to maintain the same properties view properties throughout the views so it's very very useful okay so we will be have uh, we will be having a look on this also when we will be doing the project documentation so uh, uh we will see how to place them automatically first okay so when you place your mouse when you place your cursor any for on any of your air terminal okay which is in the system any of the element which is in the system here we will we will have an option called generate layout generate layout okay so once you click once you click on this you'll see we have uh we have generated a layout okay now uh what do i want is what what we are given with we have different uh solutions for the routing of the duct you can see there is a duct coming and we have different colors as well there is a blue color there is a green color and there is one another one which is a yellow color which is a yellow one right so yeah here so yellow means there is some error okay there is some error blue means it's a main duct it's a main duct green means it's a branch duct okay so if it's a blue that means it's a main duct if it's a green line it's a branch duct if it's a yellow line yellow color then it's a error remember this okay in the generate layout option Gen generate layout options okay now uh we have different uh solutions for this one let's check the another one okay okay this also is fine but it's quite you know i don't i i won't feed this with this with, with the shortest uh the shortest branch okay why why it is feeding it from the hair okay let's let's move on to another one so it's totally not acceptable okay i don't want this five is somewhat okay it is feeding somewhere from here with this main line and this is feeding with this line why it is feeding to here it has to take a straight line okay anyways this is also okay but uh, the one which we have seen on the second number if what we can do in this if we can shift this main duct to the center i think this layout would be okay this layout would be okay right so we can also edit this automatic layouts 
as per our requirement but there is some limitation up to which you can uh, uh, you can change but you can change these automatic settings as well but before that before that we have to go to the settings here we have two settings main and branch we'll go to the main branch offset means the height of the duct let me put the height as let's say for example 4200 let's say okay and here the type of duct which we have created that is double x radius band tap okay select that go to the branch same offset you have to give over here same offset and uh, i have to select that duct which i have created click ok now i want to add it this uh routing okay so when you click on solution it will show you the solution type when you click on edit layout it will not show you the solution now you have the access to edit this layout okay so if you are clicking on solution you don't have the access to change this right you have the access uh, just to change the solution type okay there are different solution types uh, network parameter custom custom means what you are editing so what we have selected was from the was from the network generally we use network for the duct work perimeter generally we use uh, for the chill water because it takes from the perimeter of your uh, air terminals okay for chill water piping if you have fcus placed so it will take uh, the pipe routing based on that okay intersections is mostly uh, common with the fire protection fire piping okay so network is uh, most common for the duct work i was selecting this one i i want to add it this i want to take this main duct in the center not from here from not from this side okay so what i will do i can click on the edit layout yes and now when you hover the mouse it will show you like you can add it this you can bring it over here or you can bring it again back to the same position okay you can change them so uh, i want to shift this at the center why it is taking to here then it is coming here i just want to drag it at the center okay now it is at the center there may be uh, problems when you will be connecting like this you can see it, it turns into a yellow color because there will be some connection errors but we can see that later on okay so this is okay this is connecting to these two and there's a branch connecting this one similarly for this one and for this one okay and here we have the connection to these okay that's already fine what about these what it is doing over here oh okay it is taking from this side and there is a t and it is connected let me just drag it to there why it is taken like this drag again okay yes simply you can drag it but why it has taken like this means it is automated you have to uh, make the corrections as per your requirement okay okay finally we are we just have to align with this now there are, there are two lines one is connecting with this one and one is connecting with this one right so i can shift this line why it is going above on this one i can select uh, yeah that is fine that's okay or else wherever you see there is a this t that means here is a t connection right or else where you will see there is one cross as well ha ah, wherever you see this plus sign that means there is a cross okay so i'll move it back to this original position or you can you can select it it you can connect it from here now this is fine 
okay so this is how we can add it we can add it uh we can add it the layout okay can we move it to this side yeah that's fine that's fine this is much okay as as compared to the previous one okay and you can shift this in the center that's very much fine and we have a layout ready okay so once you have done your adjustment whatever you want you can click on finish layout absolute uh, obviously there will be some warnings but we will rectify them okay click on finish layout oh so there are some open connections oh, has an open connection okay so here it is not connected here it is not connected so can we do something in this case control z added solution if i if i select it to this side what will happen let's see okay so here we have open end connections same same error we are getting because it is coming from the bottom and here also it is coming let's change it again control z if i if i select this and if i move it up to here so somehow you have to check you have to find out the solution like there should be to avoid the maximum errors as you can okay so it's a small mistake it is having a, some connection issue but uh, mostly it's okay it's fine okay so your layout is ready but the ducts are not sized it is just the placement it is just the placement okay uh, but when you see the ducts it will having the flow rates the flow is 199 199 so 199 why because 99.7 plus 99.7 okay so when you add these two you'll get the total flow rates in the duct 199 so this is how you can create your automatic layout let's let's check in the 3d as well or else what you can do Control Z. Control Z. Uh, create. Go to the View tab. 3D. And uh, close this. Close this. W T. Okay. So we cannot. We don't. We don't have that option because we are in the generate layout. We cannot. We cannot make a style window. I'm pressing WT, but it is not taking. So let, let, let's not worry about on this one. Click on finish. The layout is ready. Just we need to uncheck this section box. Okay, let's go to the 3D view. And here, or else you can make it, right now it is coordination, you can make it mechanical to check your duct work. Okay, so it's a additional duct, I think it's not. Yeah, yeah, yes, we need to delete this. So here is your automatic routing for your duct work. Are there any, are there any areas where you need to make any kind of changes? This one it is highlighting. It's not connected properly. Okay, 127. Yeah, that's fine. WT. Here you can see your layout. Here's your plan. 